Okay, hi there, we've got uh, Chris Vickers from the MBS technical team, who's now going to explain how you can go from uh, a BIM through into MBS Create. Chris. Um, so essentially, at the start of the process, we received um, some BIM objects, in this case, a landscape. So we took the proposed BIM objects, and to get this to coordinate with the um, Create specification, we basically added two parameter types. Um, so what we've got in the in each BIM object property uh, MBS description and MBS reference and basically when we create an outline specification these are the two parameter values that the software will pick up so we added the parameters to each of these objects and then loaded it into the main landscape BIM model um, so here this is the initial landscape BIM model that we've created and as you can see if I just click on this pave and type there, it's basically just our our object populated with our information and that's when the software guys will eventually create that into an outline specification. So at this point I'll hand you over to Alan. So here we've got Alan Smith who's our software development manager for the sort of information end user team. Alan? And so what I'd like to show you is some prototype functionality that were built into Revit that uses the uh, reference and description that Chris has just uh, demonstrated to generate an outline specification. So I click the prototype create specification button and choose specification to create. And then there'll be a little pause while we go through all of the elements in the model. So I'll just quickly jump to Visual Studio and show you what it's doing. So we're reading MBS reference and MBS description, and basically looping through every element within that model. So it takes a little bit, little, little bit of time. And we tie that up with our MBS create clauses and build up a specification outline. If I flip back to Revit, we be finished, we get a nice report of what the generator's done. And if I flip to MBS Create and open my specification, show you the outline, you'll see a number of um, clauses have been brought in on the types depending on what was in the model. If I click the clause, I'm ready now um, to, to fill out the specification. Oh, thank you very much, Alan. Thank you very much, Chris.